Prime Minister the Honorable Alan Chastney and Minister for Gender Relations Honorable Dr. Gail Rigabert joined in celebrating the contribution of men to the development of St. Lucia on the occasion of International Men's Day. International Men's Day is celebrated annually on the 19th of November. This year's observance is being held under the theme Better Health for Men and Boys. This theme focuses on the improvement and enhancement of the health and well-being of the male population across the world. On Wednesday, the International Men's Network, in collaboration with the Department of Gender Relations, held a Boys to Men conference in an effort to celebrate the men of St. Lucia, their contributions, and to urge those who are better off to reach back and help those who may fall behind. President of the International Men's Network, Barry Innocent, expressed his expectations of the conference. I pray that this, this event um, serves its purpose, where uh, a means of communication in this light, both music and articulations, would reach and impact the minds of young men that could cause things like behavioral modification or commence some level of behavioral modification. Minister for Education, Innovation, Gender Relations and Sustainable Development, Honorable Dr. Gail Rigabert, indicated that what it means to be a man continues to change. The minister noted that men are not invincible and do battle their own challenges, making their need to be heard even more important. We owe to ourselves, all of us, to listen more to one another. But hearing is not enough. We must be brave enough to challenge our long-held beliefs. And we must give ourselves permission to adjust our beliefs and expectations of ourselves and one another in keeping with the new learning that we have received from our experiences, in this immediate case, the lessons we have learned from COVID-19. It is okay for a man to share domestic responsibilities as we work from home. It is okay for a woman to be the only or the higher income earner in a household. Men can hurt too. They do feel and they do hurt. Men do not always have all the answers. Prime Minister the Honorable Alan Chastney encouraged men to be their brother's keeper. And I feel that there are many young men who have been incredibly successful in this country and what we're asking for them to do is to appreciate that they need to be role models for some of those young men who may not have been given the support that they had it is true that for any gender the key to success is support it's inescapable. And when we have anyone who is struggling to find their place in our society, it's left to the majority of people who have been successful to never to take for granted what they have been able to achieve, but to turn back and reach to help those to come up. Featured speaker Dr. Joshua Les Flores shared some words of advice. One of the things that I never, never wanted to throw away was the gifts that God gave me. And each and every one of us has gifts. Each and every one of us has talents. You may not always have the best set of cards in your hand, but play them because God is with you. God will not give you anything that you cannot handle. And even in the times that I thought I could not handle exam after exam after exam, I stand before you here today, accomplished, happy, tired, but grateful for the opportunities that I have been given and the habits that I learned early on that helped me to push forward regardless of what came my way. So I ask, Choose the right path for yourself, even if it's the hardest choice. But don't worry, because it will continue to get easier. Choose to be diligent, diligent in school, at work, in your community. Choose to make the most of every opportunity. Choose to stay above and away from influences, but rather influencing positively. 
The first International Men's Day was celebrated in 1992. The occasion was instituted to celebrate the achievement by boys and men to society, nation and community.